Hi everyone, welcome back to this week's video. I figured since back to school season is right around the corner, I would show you guys some of my favorite school supplies. Now, I know what you're thinking. Kristen, why are we doing a back to school haul in the middle of a pandemic? I don't really need another video showing me what type of binders to get. And aren't you a little old to be doing this type of video? Well, I hear your questions and concerns, and that's why I'm showing you guys some unique back to school items in this video. No generic supplies here, folks. <laughs> and to accommodate everyone, I've got supplies for in-person and online school. So let's get started. <laughs> Up first is this yard stick. Five Minute Crafts said that a hockey stick is a great way to visualize how far apart to be from other people in Canada. I didn't have a hockey stick, so I figured this yard stick would work. You know, you can just stick your arm out and be careful of your surroundings. But if you hit something, you'll know you're too close to them. Now up next, we have this lavender essential oil. It smells so good. I always love the smell of lavender. It's just so calming, which is really great for anyone who's worried about online school. Um, just be aware that you can't apply it directly to your skin. All right, so the next item is this adorable vintage mask. Now I know that vintage items can sometimes be tricky to style. So I have two outfits to show you guys. Obviously this outfit is a little more casual. I like how the sparkles add a nice touch without making the mask feel like it's super fancy. Now let me show you a more formal example. And as you can see, the mask works with this outfit as well. If you need a mask for a class presentation, I recommend this one. Now I know it looks a little hard to clean, but don't worry, I have a solution. It smells so much better now. This mask is totally not safe for the washer or dryer. All right, now all of those supplies work for in-person class, but what about those of you who are fully online? Online school has a bunch of its own issues, from messy backgrounds to being easily distracted. You could get your own backdrops, but why stop there? That doesn't solve all of your problems. Now, my recommendation has been renting out a studio. Come on. Now, over here is my sound director, Brett. I thought you said I would never have to be on camera. Shut up. <laughs> and we have my camera woman, Mary. Hi, Mary. It has been such a lifesaver. She hooked up a professional camera to my laptop. It's been so great for Zoom meetings. <laughs> I just love having a studio. It's just a great place to come work without any distractions. Um, if you guys at home can't rent a studio, you could just get your spare room and recruit your family to help you. <laughs> I'm sure they'd be more than happy to help. All right, everyone, that's it for this week's video. Make sure to like and leave it. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's my roommate, I should take this. Oh, he hasn't seen my mask yet, wait, okay. Okay, I have so many questions. The main one being, why exactly do you look like a plague doctor? I do not. Besides, I'm at the studio recording that back to school video that I told you about. Aren't you 27 and a college dropout? Like I said, that's all we have for this week's video. Make sure to like and leave a comment and make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye. I really need to find my own place soon. I heard that. Mm -hmm.